On today's episode of How Can We Take a Hard Task and Make It Even More Impossible, we'll be using a broken shovel to move frozen rock and frozen earth. Friends, it's here, the time we have long been waiting for. We are finally preparing for our rough-in inspections. The last two weeks have been about bringing our electrical wiring and plumbing installations up from about 80 to 90% completion to 100% complete. It's been tedious and ultimately uninteresting work. Most of last week was spent cleaning up wiring, reading code, and rereading code. There were two somewhat interesting projects. We upgraded our electrical panel from 30 spaces to 40 spaces to ensure that we have room for future installations. We also built the raised platform for underneath the tub and put up the partial walls for the shower in the main bathroom. We decided to do this now so that the plumbing can be inspected in its final location. Unfortunately, we still have some tough, ugly projects to bring across the finish line. It was a weekend full of tasks that we really, really didn't have any motivation for. Trying to fade into the blur. Better be on camera, you're the pretty one. Get over here. Pretty ones. <laughs> Remember the time we were like, hey, we're done on the roof. Ha 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 ha. to my favorite place. It is one of my favorite views of this property, from this property. That is true. But uh, that's when I'm looking out, not down. Right. Because, oh, <laughs> that's annoying. Yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna finally, there's a pipe right here. It has, it's a vent pipe, and if you know anything about vent pipes, you want that to go outside. You need air to let the water go through and the solids, Chelsea solids specifically, and then, not mine too, and then, <laughs> but if you think about it, that vent pipe is inside, it's connected straight into the septic, so that smell, it's gotta go somewhere. I don't know if you guys ever smell septic, septic tanks, but you know, we empty our black tank in our RV every few days. Mm -hmm. we're, we're very familiar with it, and yeah. it's not nice. You wouldn't want it in your house. Sewage. 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 It's, it's gross. It's, it's, it's uh, human waste. I was very adamant about having as the least amount of penetrations from the exterior of the house to the interior, so mm -hmm. um, that's one reason why we redesigned the house again the 18th million time because like, <laughs> now all of the plumbing is centralized so we have this one vent going up so it's got to make sense to me you know and it's got to be part of code so there's a couple things that we held off and there's different reasons why I didn't do it when we did said plumbing or whatever electric mostly because I just didn't want to do it I, I don't want to go on the roof I'm not I I'm not a fan of it but we're gonna do it we have to it's like one of those things like I was just talking to my buddy and it's like I was like, man, yeah, this was tricky, this was tricky. He's like, man, you're doing such a good job. Like, like you taught things in the Air Force that was a lot more difficult than things that you're doing. And, and it's like, you can just keep, and it's, it's, it's true though, you know? I, but yeah, we're gonna go do that. Um, and then we have a couple other things we gotta do outside, actually. It's a nice day. It's nice. It's gonna be good. I think Monday is supposed to be cold, right? Monday, I think like a cold front's gonna come in, so it'll be windy, be windy. chilly, probably cloudy. Yeah. But we've got a beautiful weekend, so we're gonna take full advantage. And then we will clean and either request inspections next week or the following week, I think. We're there, we're but so close. Once we have that, it's like, I don't know. I'm probably gonna go get some sushi in Colorado Springs or something. We're gonna put it in Denver. high gear, that's for sure. Yeah. Get this ish done. Up oh. we go on the scaffolding. Where's the drill at? I think we're gonna go for it. on the roof, I'm doing a thing. Also trying not to fall off said roof. Don't fall off the roof. Oh, well Brian said don't fall off the roof, so now I won't. Really, I'm allowed to fall. <laughs> to fall. Nope. It's ready. Okay, go! 
this strap on here. Just hold it like that. Just chilling. Still on the vent. All right, I'm coming down. Whee! The world's slow aside. Okay. Because of the weather and trying to get things inspection ready, we've been jumping around between projects a lot lately. We'll start something, get held up by missing part or poor weather, and have to move on to something else entirely. It's a weird way to work, and in some ways it feels more difficult to get projects done. But at the end of the day, we can only do our best, get what we can done, and enjoy the days where the weather is nice, clear, and remind ourselves why the heck we even moved out here to do something so incredibly difficult. Yesterday we finished installing the vent through the roof to connect to the septic line, the plumbing, whatever you want to call it. So that's done, which is awesome because that was like a big project that we had been waiting to complete. Uh, and luckily we have this nice weather for it. We also were able to start the stairs down into the crawl space. That's not quite done. So we've got a little bit more, which we might do today, but the weather is so nice today. Like we weren't here in the spring last year. We got back at like mid April. So we weren't here in March. It's not even March yet, it's the end of February, but it's like probably almost 40 degrees, no wind. I mean, fall, spring or not, I'm gonna take advantage of it. So with that said, with the nice weather, I'm gonna be working outside because Brian's feeling a little tired, a little achy in his shoulders. You know, he's got that shoulder pain and shoulder issues he's dealing with. So I'm gonna take up the helm. I'm gonna grab the shovel. I'm gonna be clearing out the gravel rock, <laughs> sort of dirt that we have. That's gonna connect the outflow plumbing down into the septic line. So the septic line is actually like basically where that snow pile is. I need to clear the way so that we can connect the piping to that. Meanwhile, down in the crawl space, Brian is finishing up the last few pipe connections that will lead to the connection outside. I'm saying connection a lot, but they're all gonna connect, right? So he's finishing up that part. So he's working underneath, I'm working outside. We'll meet in the middle at some point. I feel like this goes without saying, but pro tip, don't do any of your groundwork in the winter. Not only is everything rock here, where it's already like impossible to dig and move, but now stuff is frozen too. Oh my gosh. I'm out of breath. This is literally why I work out so I can do stuff like this and like not pass out because we're at almost 10,000 feet. This is gonna take a long time. So she's digging. I am gonna connect the rest of these pipes to our system to go outside to the septic. And so one reason we didn't do this was because it was very cold. I knew we were gonna do some digging. It's warming up a little bit. I wouldn't say it's spring is here. I don't, I'm not a weather person, meteorologist, whatever, but um, it would be awesome if it is. Uh, a couple other things we gotta have to do before we actually connect it is to plug all these um, traps because once it's connected to the septic, I mean, it's the air from the septic is gonna go straight into the house. So we will have to get those together. So it's a possibility we don't do it all today, um, mainly because that reason. Started to actually put make the stairs for this. And yesterday I was like, yeah, I'm tired. We'll finish it tomorrow. But here we are doing plumbing. So I don't know, see? You don't ask me like I have my stuff together because I don't, I'm just doing. <laughs> what are you gonna do next? I don't know, oh, uh, hopefully I wake up tomorrow. So the worst part of this is probably where we actually need to connect into the plumbing for the septic system. It's already buried and super frozen. So save the best for last, I guess. Build your own house, they said.
Okay, so I just like stopped recording after a while because things got a little pathetic. It was like three hours of chipping away at rocks and frozen water, aka ice. So yeah, you know, gods were prey to, I may have given up, and here we are. So it got really windy out. We're gonna work on the stairs instead. Oh, who's creeping in? <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why I didn't want to do any of this. I will say it wouldn't have been nearly as bad if the ground wasn't frozen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one of those things like, yeah, should have done this in the summer. <laughs> yeah, like August would have been a fine time for that. It is like one of those known things where it's just like you put it back yeah. in your head and then you're just like, and then it's like, oh, I gotta do this. Well, all these problems come up. <laughs> my story of my life. It's almost like if we had known how to build a house, we would have built this one differently. <laughs> anyway, so let's make it work. Yeah, lessons learned, make it work. We're gonna do something else. It's quiet inside, which is nice. Also, like, kind of felt like I was digging my own grave for a while, and then I laid down in it, and I was like, eh, well. That was a vibe. You saw me laying in the dirt. Yeah. I was trying to absorb the earth's energy to have more of my own energy to dig and it did not work. If you're new around here and like what you see, here's a few ways you can support us. One, like and subscribe. We post videos on Sundays, but we also have community posts and YouTube shorts and we're on Instagram, so hit the bell and you'll get notifications about when we have new content. Two, you can become a Patreon member. Find the link in the description box below. And three, you could always become a YouTube member instead. This is just like a Patreon member. It's got all the same benefits, but it's all here on YouTube. Both Patreon and YouTube members get access to behind the scenes photos, a weekly newsletter, the annual Line Up the Stars holiday card, and we're starting monthly live streams. It fits. Last step. Definitely never gonna make a how to video on this because I want people to be in safe stairs. And these are safe, but. Just a crawl space. I'm crawling down here. <laughs> so we have a two story house now, second floor. No, just kidding. It's a crawl space. Why did we wait so long to do this? Well, one. I really wanted the encapsulation done, so this is kind of sitting on top. I definitely dropped a couple of screws and made some holes into it, so that's going to be fun to patch up, not really. There's, I did that all day today. Trickiest reason is we had that blowout. I don't know if you are with us when we did our concrete. We had a little blowout. Human error is our, our mistake, and it's right where I wanted to put the cross space. So basically the ground was unlevel, so I had to figure out how to get everything even enough <laughs> and uh, I tell you what man anytime when I start to use my brain and on something I've never did it's like freaking quantum mechanics I don't know anything about it so it's just like I gotta think about how it's gonna do and, and this and uh, right. yeah boom so it's not great because you will have to start crawling once you get to this point <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's way better than what I was doing, which was hopping up. So I don't know what's next. We have a lot of stuff. I still need to finish some plumbing work. We got a couple more wires to do for electric and I need to call for inspection, but okay. Today sucked, I'm glad it's done. Is it? Did it? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, I'm walking I away. I was done when we woke up. I was like, <laughs> hey, I'm in pain. I'm tired. <laughs> something, something, you're like, all right, so we're gonna start on it. I was like, okay, well. But doesn't it feel good that it's done? No. <laughs> I feel more in pain than I was before. Doesn't it feel good? No. Not physically. My sciatica is killing me right now. I gotta get my stress. Not physically, emotionally. No emotions. Spiritually. No spirit, it's God. Guess that's a wrap on today. But first, the roof. The roof.
Let's do it. Slide off. Have your have your stretcher ready. <laughs> Great. Do we own a stretcher? No. 